Well, Iranians woke up to several explosions in the city of Isfahan on Friday. The strikes did not cause much damage to the country, and Iran's air defense shot down three drones. Iran's local media, quoting an unnamed Israeli official, confirms that Israel was indeed behind the attack. U.S. officials have also confirmed this, but they say that the United States had nothing to do with the attack. On the first uh, question, the reports that uh, you've seen, um, I'm not going to speak to that, except to say that the United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. Tehran has been downplaying the attack, and it has been business as usual in the country. In Iran's official statement, there was no mention of Israel. It rather described the incident as an attack by infiltrators. Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, did not cut short his trip to the central province of Semnan, and reports say Iran has no plans to respond to the attack. They couldn't handle Gaza that is close to its border. Attacking Isfahan, that's ridiculous. Israel is really lying. Because if it was behind the attack, everyone would know by now. And the people living in cities they targeted would have said something. So this reported Israeli attack on Iran is a lie. While Israeli military and foreign ministers have declined to comment, Israel's security minister Itmar Ben Gvir did post a one word message on the platform X feeble. What has been the world's reaction from UK to France to Japan to China? All have urged both parties to exercise restraint. We have to do all everything possible that all sides restrain from the escalation in that region. Um, we have seen the massive attack with drones and missiles, around about 300, uh, by Iran on Israel. Um, it is absolutely necessary that the region stays stable and that all sides refrain from further action. An attack was anticipated from Israel after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to respond to Iran's unprecedented attack against Israel on April 13th. Iran's leader has also warned Israel that even a slight move against Tehran would be met with a severe response. I would say that we have shifted or uh, see the turning point of the shadow war into an open war. And this is kind of a different opera in our ge geopolitical panorama of the Middle East. Iran fired over 300 missiles and drones at Israel, out of which 99 percent were claimed to be intercepted by Israeli and allied forces, including British, American, French and Jordanian. The attack caused no deaths and minor damage. Since then, Western countries have slapped Iran with sanctions and have been trying to persuade Israel against a reprisal attack against the Islamic Republic. Iran's attack was a response to suspected Israeli strikes on its consulate in Damascus on April 1st. Seven Iranian officers were killed in the embassy strike. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.